Hi, um, I am Councillor Lisa Spivey and I'm delighted to be sitting here today with my colleague, Councillor Mike Evermay. Uh, now, Mike is um, everything to do with finance here at Cotswold District Council. He is the Cabinet Member for Finance, so knows a lot about uh, how we uh, gather our money through our budget and uh, how we spend it all. So, Mike, um, can you fill me in on a bit on what's going on right at this moment and perhaps some of the challenges that we face? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so Lisa, we're just about to ask uh, the public to get involved and give us their view on our finances to the, in our annual budget consultation. Uh, and what we're wanting to explain in advance of that is the financial position of the council, which is uh, challenging, to put it mildly. What are some of those challenges that we face? We know there's things like inflationary costs, things like that. But do we have, is there any, is there a bigger picture here? Yeah, so We've actually had a reduction in our core government funding of 50% in the last 10 years. So that's a big reduction in money from the government. You mentioned inflation. Yeah, we've had uh, the inflation we've seen over the last couple of years, particularly we've all seen that in terms of our cost of living. So we as a council have that in terms of things like our fuel and energy costs, and also in terms of paying our staff because they need the, the pay to cope with that. Yeah. So we've had to, to pay our staff more. So those are the contextual decisions around things that are affecting us right now if we look at our budget. And what about the bigger picture? So we, we know what that's like right now today, the, all those cost pressures that, that you mentioned, yeah, that yes, that we as individuals face as well. But what about things like, you know, money that the government gives us, business rates, all these sort of things. How does, how does that factor in? Well, I said we'd had a 50% reduction in that core funding from the government. We're also looking at a fundamental change that the government has been putting off year after year, but is now, we're pretty clear it's going to happen in 2026, 27. So in just three years time, um, potentially we could have a three million pound reduction in the money that the government gives us. Uh, and because how much three million pounds? That, that sounds like a lot well, of money. How it's much three is that? million out of 13 million. Wow. So it's a massive uh, amount of money. Uh, so yeah, really that's what we need to do in terms of uh, planning for that. There's some difficult decisions we're going to have to take this year to make sure you know that we're in the best possible position to go into a change in our government funding in three years time. And we've seen recently, like some councils have actually gone bankrupt. Uh, Birmingham recently uh, declared that, that, that they you know, run out of money. Is that something that we need to worry about here at Cotswold District Council? Not right now. We have a sound financial position. But as I said, you know, in three years time, if we lose three million pounds from the government funding, you know, we are going to be in a really tight situation. Uh, and yeah, we've seen big councils like Birmingham go bust, but we've also seen small district councils go bust as well. So we can't be complacent and we have to take those decisions now to set ourselves uh, in the right place to be able to deal with the challenges coming up. Okay, so it's something that is not just a challenge that we face here, it's something that is happening nationally. Yeah, nationally councils are struggling because I said we've had a 50% reduction. Other councils have had similar reductions. So councils have been really focused and we have in terms of making efficiencies. They've raised charges where they've been able to and they've had to and we've had to do some of that. They put their council tax up by the maximum that the government will allow. But even with all of that, we're still facing this pressure uh, that's coming down at us and at other councils across the country. Yeah, because we, we've had that over the last few years, haven't we? We've seen, you know, the, the, the band D um, average council tax going up. We've had to increase our car parking charges and our, our some of our services, like the, the, the green bin service, for example. But do you think that's something that we that we really have to do each year? And, and you'll be thinking we have to do that again next year? Yeah, um, well, we, we set a policy, if you remember, Lisa, to say where we provide services uh, that are discretionary, that we don't have to provide, that they will be charged at the level at which they at least cover the cost. So that's the reason why the garden waste charge has gone up because it's now being paid for by the people that receive the service and not being paid for uh, by others. But absolutely, you know, we will have to look at all of our fees and charges and make sure that they are uh, in the right place in order to be able to support and to continue to run the vital services that we do that we don't charge for. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's lots of things like homelessness that you know people with homelessness 
can't afford to pay us, but we have a duty to support them. Yeah, and I think we'd, our residents would, would want us to be doing that. So what are you asking now, Mike? Uh, we're going out to consultation, is that right? Yeah, with the public? Yeah, we are. So we'll have uh, a few questions for them to answer about some specific proposals. And then we've also got an opportunity for them to you know, tell us what they think. So we commit to publishing all of that when we consider uh, the budget in the new year. Uh, and we'll take that on board and we'll ask their views about things like, you know, parking charges, what should we do about those? Um, because ultimately, you know, we are elected representatives, aren't we? We have to, but we have to take decisions that are in the best interests of the council and the residents of our district. And that's what we'll be doing when we set the budget in February. Oh, well, thanks very much, Mike. Uh, so our budget consultation will be open from the 3rd of November and we'd be delighted to hear from you. Like Mike said, there's a few questions and also sometimes uh, an opportunity for you to comment. Thank you very much. Thanks, Lisa. Thanks, Mike.